This is the another example on off range cosine series. See the statement. Find the off range cosine series of the function sin x on open interval 0, comma pi. Sometimes open interval 0, comma pi is represented with the symbol 0 is less than x is less than pi. It means that this is open interval 0, comma pi. So in this problem, we have to express sine function as series of cosine terms. Okay, very very important problem. See this one. So given that, let us represent the given function with uh, f of x is equal to sine x and uh, interval is in the form of 0, comma pi whose interval length is pi only. Okay, so the required the required off range cosine series is f of x is equal to cosine series means it has only cosine terms only which are nothing but a naught and the a n only. So summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n into cos n x. So what are the formula for a naught and a n here? a naught is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx. And what about the formula for a n? a n is nothing but 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x into cos n x dx. After finding these both values, we have to replace both values in this formula. Okay. So, 2 by pi into integral 0 to pi. What is f of x? Given function sin x into dx. So, 2 by pi into what is integral sin x? Minus cos x within the limits 0 to pi. So, first of all, apply upper limit. You will get minus cos pi. What is the value of cos pi? Cos odd pi is negative. Cos even pi is positive 1. Don't forget it. So, already minus is there. So, you will get minus of minus plus 1 minus minus cos 0. Already minus is there. So, you will get positive cos 0. Cos 0 is also 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 twos are 4 by pi. So, a naught value is 4 by pi, but first term in the expansion is a naught by 2. So, a naught by 2 is equal divide with 2, you will get 1, 2 gets cancelled in the numerator. So, you will get a naught as 2 by pi, do not forget this value. Now, it is enough to find out the value of a n now. So, write the formula for a n, after that replace the f of x from the given problem it would be sin x sin x into cos n x so here two terms and product don't apply uv rule here because both are same category terms because both are trigonometric terms that's why i will use the trigonometric transformation formula whenever sin and cos are in product so i will take these two to inside 1 by pi into remaining term is 1 by pi 0 to pi, I will write the inside term as 2 sin nx into, sorry, it is 2 into first right cos nx, 2 cos nx into sin x into dx, okay. So, it is in the form of 2 cos a sin b term. So, it would be sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b. Don't forget this trigonometric transformation formula. Here a is nothing but nx and b is nothing but simply x. So 1 by pi into integral 0 to pi sin of a plus b. So sin of nx plus x. nx plus x. If you take x as common term, you will get it is n plus 1 into x minus sin of n minus 1 into x because nx minus x 
if you take x as common term you will get n minus 1 x whole into dx so we have to take the integration of this term here we never get the uv rule because two terms are not in the product just write the integration of this first term and the second term integration of sin of n plus 1 is n plus 1 x is minus cos always integration sign is minus cos write the angle by what is the x coefficient n plus 1 you should write the x coefficient in the denominator whenever you are writing the integration here also integration sign is minus cos already minus sign is there so you will get positive so cos of n minus 1 into x by n minus 1 integration is completed so we have to apply the limits 0 to pi so 1 by pi into apply upper limits you will get minus cos of n plus 1 into pi already in previous videos also issued is we discussed about this value cos of n plus 1 into pi and cos of n minus 1 into pi all are equal to minus of minus 1 whole power n according to this you will get minus into minus plus so you will get minus 1 whole power n by n plus 1 don't forget these values these are very very important and the cos of n minus 1 into pi is also minus of minus 1 whole power n since here we have positive sign minus plus into minus 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 1 whole power n by n minus 1 apply the lower limit now minus but already this term is positive negative sign so negative of negative is positive cos of x is 0 now so cos 0 cos 0 is 1 1 by n plus 1 minus cos 0 it would be 1 by n minus 1 okay so 1 by pi into so take the lcm for these two terms and minus 1 whole power n is the common term so you will get n square minus 1 is the lcm n plus 1 into n minus 1 n square minus 1 so n minus 1 minus n minus 1 here also lcm is n square minus 1 so 1 into n minus 1 n minus 1 minus n okay you should multiply this one with n plus 1 minus n minus 1 so i will write the continuation here see see here plus n minus n gets cancelled plus n minus n gets cancelled so minus 1 minus 1 would be minus 2 so the next step becomes 1 by pi whole into minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 in the product we have minus 1 whole power n by n square minus 1 next minus 1 minus 1 again minus 2 by n square minus 1 so we are observing that a n value becomes in the numerator minus 2 is the common term in the denominator n square minus 1 is the common term if you take minus 2 from the numerator and uh, from the denominator n square minus 1 as common terms you will get 1 into minus 2 minus 2 already pi is there into n square minus 1 okay into n square minus 1 so what is the remaining term in the first part just minus 1 whole power n in the second term you are taking the entire term as a common term so you will get plus 1 i got this okay but we are observing that if n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 this term becomes something by 0 something by 0 is infinity so this valid this value is valid only when n is not equal to 1 only okay if n is equal to 1 we can't take this value as a n because it is not finite so again we have to find out the value of a n when n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 then a1 is equal to uh, actually what is the formula for a n here so look at here u n is equal to this one if if you replace n is equal to 1 in this formula you will get a1 which is 2 by pi integral 0 to pi 
f of x f of x is nothing but sin x and uh, remaining term is cos nx but n is 1 here so you will get simply cos x we are replacing n is equal to 1 in this formula so 1 by pi into take this 2 to inside integral 0 to pi 2 sin x cos x it would be sin 2x into dx so 1 by pi into what is integral sin 2x minus cos 2x by 2 within the limits 0 to pi 1 by you can you can take this 2 to outside 2 pi minus cos 2 pi cos 2 pi is 1 so minus 1 minus of minus plus cos 0 is 1 so 1 plus 1 gets cancelled you will get 0 so a1 is equal to 0 okay so now we have to replace these all values in the off range cosine series formula which is equation number one see here equation number one implies f of x is nothing but a naught by two plus next term can be written as apply n is equal to one you will get first term so you will get a1 cos x next replace n is equal to two onwards because already we put n is equal to 1 remaining are all same a n into cos n x substitute all values of a naught by 2 and a 1 a 1 is 0 and a n is this one then you will get the required off range cosine series of the given function okay in the next video i will give some more problems thank you very much